most Americans recognize the name George Washington, or John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, but few can tell you their stories, much less that of James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, or Andrew Jackson. These seven men from the founding era were America's first presidents. They established our republic on the foundation of the Constitution and its liberties. But who were they? Were they good or bad leaders? How did they become presidents? Did they follow the Constitution or abandon its principles? We've invited our friend Tim Barton, president of Wall Builders, back to the Economic War Room to help us learn the bad, good, and beautiful from our founding presidents. And what I quoted, that's from his new book that's out, The American Story, Building the Republic. Welcome back, Tim. Thank you, good to be with you. Hey, tell us about the first seven presidents. What <clears throat> kind of men were they? Uh, these were men who built the republic. Yeah, so really it is a wide spectrum of them. I mean, it's like reading the Old Testament of the Bible, right? Where you're gonna have some really great kings of Israel and some really bad kings of Israel. And as, as you kind of alluded to in the introduction, the point we try to help remind people, a lot of times we think because we're very familiar with their names, we know who they are. But really, if we're like, tell me a story about James Madison, and someone says, well, he wrote the Constitution. And I would point out, well, that's a fact. That's not a story, right? We don't really know their stories, and therefore, we don't know the lessons we should be learning from history, examples that we actually could look at modern day and think, we could have known from 200 years ago examples that we should never do what's happening right now. Now we also can look practically common sense and think we shouldn't be doing what we're doing yeah. right now. But we wanted to go back and show the people that, that started the nation. When you go to the American founding beginning, Declaration Constitution, kind of the illusion is that this is the founding fathers building the nation or in, in some sense like building the boat. Right. The first seven presidents are the ones that put it on the, the ocean and they direct the trajectory of the nation, and some of them did a really good job, whether it be a George Washington, a Thomas Jefferson, a John Quincy Adams, and then some of them, like a James Monroe or Andrew Jackson, did devastating things. Andrew Jackson single-handedly changed the entire political structure, weaponizing politics, weaponizing the US government against his political opponents, and, and he changed the foundation from what George Washington did, modern politics today is a greater reflection of Andrew Jackson than any other president. With all of the negatives, all of the detrimental things that have happened, Andrew Jackson was the one that set that precedent. And we go through the book reintroducing people to, to some of the heroes. We should celebrate the contributions of a George Washington, a John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, but then we should be honest about some of the things like a James Monroe. What did he do and, and how did he do it? Well, he was the one, the first president, that allowed pro-slavery states to join the union because this was something the founding fathers said, okay, we're going to allow the southern states for 20 years to maintain, we're not passing laws according to the constitution for 20 years to, to deal with the importing of slaves, but at 20 years, we're gonna revisit this conversation. James Monroe was the president, not Madison, not Jefferson Adams or Washington. James Monroe said, no, no, we should have more slavery in America. Uh -huh. He's the one that started that. Well, John Quincy Adams, famous anti-slavery abolition leader, he comes and says, that's a terrible idea, right? He dedicates his entire life to fighting slavery, but then you have Andrew Jackson who comes and, and he continues that James Madison turns the ship in the wrong direction. John Quincy Adams tries to straighten it and Andrew Jackson just like full on 180 turns that thing the wrong direction. So we really try to go through, reintroduce people to who they were, learning their stories, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then the practical lessons we can learn for today. 